We're here at Tambo's Diver uh, in Little City, Delaware. We're going to start out with a necessity, paper towel, a small paring knife, a butter knife, and a hammer. And of course, something to drink is handy too. You can see how, how warm how warm these press. The way I like to start it is with the claws first. Somebody done with a hammer, I always prefer to do it with my hand. Uh, the table needs to be stable. We don't want to pee. You're welcome to it. I'll share. When we get done messing with claws, we go to hot dog. Probably should be using a hammer. That's what people are used to. confuse a lot of people. A lot of people like to take like to take the legs off. But we like to leave the legs on. We use them as a handle. And you grip the handle back there by the swimmer fin or the other fins. Grip, grip them like this, like so. Here, hold the point, lay the other end down on the table. And then peel the top off. The mouthpiece tear off. Same way with the sex pad on the bottom, the apron. Then we begin to, to pull the legs. Once in a while a piece of meat will come off with the leg. Pull the legs off with the legs and the top is another little piece of meat there. And the legs come off. Sometimes you get some seasoning and stuff and if you get a little too much seasoning, as you pull the devil fingers off, which are the lungs of the crab, are full of water. And they'll help wash your hands a little bit. They'll help clean your hands a little bit. Okay? So you can kind of wash your hands just a little bit with that. Now we have a clean body of the crab. We're basically ready to eat. You snap it in half. Now we have two pieces. The ideal way that we like to do it cut each one in half. There's a groove in the center. Cut. Cut like so. These are quarters of the crab and they're ready and prepared to eat now. All you have to do is run your finger through the grooves and pick the meat. Me. Lynn's going to eat it. <laughs> Thank you. When now, your back fin is your biggest lump of meat in the bottom part of the body. And that comes out there. This is all jumbo lump. Run your fingers through the groove. The meat comes out. And I don't want to get a really good clean shot, but see that is clean now. Throw all the channels off. And this is your meat. This is ready to eat right here. We make a pile. We're ready to start. A new one. We'll start with more paper towels. Paper towels are important. Same thing over and over, clean the grooves. Is that for 
like some people use butter, some use yeah. vinegar. What's vinegar, Old Bay, J.O. seasoning. Here's the uh, Sambos. They use they will use Old Bay or they'll use their own seasoning. Uh, you can request either either or. Vinegar is a popular product to dip in. Some people just dip in the old bag, you know, whether cooked in old bag, some people will just dip it in the, the old bay seasoning out of a small cup. Dip, dip the meat into that as they eat it. Some will use butter. So, what makes the, uh, the Delaware crab the best to eat? The best to eat. I like it because it's, to me, it has a sweeter, more refined taste than most other crabs, or other crabs can be flat uh, in flavor. Generally, the Delaware crab will have a sweet, not only texture, but taste to the meat. Cotton came out. That's the way it's supposed to come. Alright. You ready? That's crazy. <laughs> Not so hard. What would you say to people who say picking crabs is too much work for a little bit of Well, I guess they meat? would if you took the crab and, and you made it. If, if you made it, you know, did it like an eggshell and just busted it you know, to do smithereens. Yeah, that would be a tremendous amount of work and there's not much left to eat. It's all, you know, all the shell is smattered inside of it. But that's what we're trying to teach you here today is not to crush all the shell into the into the meat. And let's do more eating and a little less picking. We were, uh, showed, we were shown the way to pick crabs when we were children because our, our parents liked to eat crabs as much as what we did. <laughs> So if you wanted to learn how to eat, you had to pay attention to what they were doing. Because they very rarely pick crabs for you. So you had to watch them and, and pick your crabs from learning from them. Of course, Samba has always been a great tradition here in Lipsick for us. And the availability of crabs. Here we go with this handle again. Use the legs for the handle. Grab, grab this top part, put the point against the table, and just peel. Remove the leg, remove the sex pad, remove the mouth, opposite leg, and we need to wash our fingers again. We use these devil fingers. We call them devil fingers. Also known as the lungs of the crab. Now kind of clean your fingers up a little bit. And you're ready to split the crab. There it is. Now it's in half. We want to put it in quarters. Center groove. Paring knife. Cut through the center groove. Fold it back. Cut through the center groove. Fold it back. Now we have channels to clean like we did on the last one. This will be the back fin. We roll that lump right out. Nice gumbo lump crab meat here for somebody to eat. Social event. Fun to talk to your friends while picking crabs. And hopefully you're not smashing and beating on the table so hard that they can't hear you. <laughs> Because that's what we see here a lot. We'll see people take their crabs and they will eat them and do this. Wrong. Oh my. This is the right one. You stop in here and we'll have somebody help me learn how to eat crabs. It's not that hard. And it can be an enjoyable experience, not a hungry one. <laughs>